So our daughter was born 16 years and nine months ago. And eight hours after she was born, she was taken from our hospital room to the neonatal intensive care unit. A nurse had heard a murmur in her heart. We met a very kind pediatric cardiologist who explained to us that our daughter had something called Tetralogy of Fallot, which is a heart defect that would require open heart surgery to repair, probably before she was one years old. He also explained to us that she might have something called a tet spell, which means that her oxygen has suddenly dropped dangerously low and she's turned very, very blue and we have to get her knees up to her chest and call 911 and hope that the ambulance gets there in time. So tetralogy is just a fancy word for four things. And the four things that are wrong with my daughter's heart are a ventricular septal defect, a ventricular hypotrophy, and a couple of other things that I can't remember because this is actually a lot to try to keep in your brain as a parent. And as my daughter was getting ready for her surgery, they did a scan of her heart and her lungs, and they found that she had something called thymic aplasia. Thymic aplasia is a fancy word for not having a thymus gland. Thymus gland is a thing that sort of sits above your heart, does some stuff with your immune system. And the fact that she didn't have a thymus gland meant that she had something called de George syndrome. And at this point, this is a lot to keep in your head, so we just focused on helping our daughter recover when she had her surgery at four months old. The doctors took a piece of bovine pericardium, which is a fancy word for duct tape, and <laughs> used it to seal the hole in our daughter's heart. We slept in shifts at a hotel near the hospital to make sure that there was always somebody next to our daughter's bedside. And then we turned our attention to trying to understand what is this thing called de George syndrome. Well, it has a laundry list of symptoms. There are just too many to list out or even to really hold in your brain, but there are five salient ones that we focused on. And those are uh, cardiac abnormality, abnormal facial features, thymic aplasia, cleft palate, and hypocalcemia which is the fancy word for not having enough calcium in your blood, and it has the handy mnemonic CATCH22. 22. 22 is for the 22nd chromosome, where my daughter is missing about 30 to 50 genes off of the Q arm. And we learned that there are lots of different syndromes that share this same chromosomal deletion off of this same part of the 22nd chromosome. And we learned that all of these syndromes have a laundry list of potential symptoms, all of which are scary and most of which are very hard to pronounce. And we were fortunate because we were able to connect with the good people of the Seattle Children's Cranial Facial Clinic because we had an early diagnosis of 22Q. And the people of Seattle Children's Cranial Facial Clinic were able to connect us with the 22Q Family Foundation who host a yearly meetup at the Woodland Park Zoo where my daughter for the first time was able to meet other children who have a similar challenge challenge to her and establish a sense of community and belonging with them. Now, the 22Q Family Foundation runs something called the Same Name Campaign, which is an effort to get doctors and caregivers to stop using all of that laundry list of names for syndromes and start using the genetic name that is 22Q11 deletion syndrome, which relates to the place where the DNA is missing that caused all of these different things. Now, our daughter is doing fantastic. She is planning to travel internationally this summer. She is planning to go to college. And we are very grateful for the doctors and the nurses and everyone who has helped her get to this place and to this very positive outcome. And if you are a doctor or a caregiver, I encourage you to support the same name campaign to help people connect to community and to care and to know what 
they should Google and to think 22Q. Thank you. Let's give it up for